forming healthy relationships and trust is so core to that. And I know for me, I became very like ultra independent to a really unhealthy level that I just, because of the environment I was in, I learned don't depend on anyone, don't trust anyone, you will be harmed. But it also stopped me from really belonging in a social group and making friends. That was like a trauma response to protect me. And so I think that's what a lot of people don't talk about. It's just the damage that is done to queer people in forming, I think, healthy friendships or socializing with people because you're in an environment where you're where socially rejected a lot. You experience even like maybe a lot of microaggressions or just straight out aggressiveness or hatefulness towards you. And you learn that, oh my gosh, if people know who I really am, then they'll hate me. I'll be punished. I'm not safe. I'm going to be harmed in this way or abused. So you learn not to trust people. You isolate and you're in a state of hypervigilance of afraid. And like you try to change everything you can about yourself to try to fit in. Um, so again, like there's not really this feeling of belonging because you, you shouldn't have to fit in to belong. And we need, as human beings, we need so desperately to belong and a place where we can let our guard down and be ourselves. And again, I think like we were talking about earlier, that internalized homophobia that happens. And I think also like the religious trauma of, oh my gosh, God is going to kill me. God is going to harm me because I'm doing this or this. And I think dealing with the cognitive dissonance of not believing that anymore, but still struggling with those fears of, oh, I'm going to hell or all oh, like this is going to happen. And I think just those feelings of like hopelessness that you're, you'll never be happy. You'll never find acceptance. And I think also like dealing with the microaggressions that are in our social systems still on a daily basis, like even just going out in public, let's just say like a couple might be going out a queer couple. And if you're in the South, you're going to get a lot of weird stares and people do make their assumptions about you and treat you differently. 